Ooh, today we are going to be talking about batteries, what they are, and how they work. Basically inside of this battery, we've got a chemical reaction taking place. It is called an oxidation reduction reaction. And what that means is I've got two different chemicals in here. I've got manganese dioxide, and I've also got some zinc. The manganese dioxide is the cathode and the zinc is the anode. And what that means is the zinc is gonna give away electrons to the manganese dioxide. So when it gives away electrons, it's gonna make those electrons flow and the flowing of electrons is electricity. So that is how we get electricity out of this battery way to measure the flow of these electrons and we can measure them in volts. Uh, so what I have here is I have a multimeter which is going to do exactly that. So if I take my multimeter and I put one end on the negative side and one end on the positive side, I get a reading of 1.6 volts for my D battery. So 1.6 volts for my D battery. So it is possible to make your very own DIY battery following the same processes that we talked about with our store-bought D battery. Take a look at my battery cells here. I have a, a fairly simple structure to it. I have my anode as just a screw and my cathode as the copper wiring. And what's happening here is the copper wiring wants to take electrons away from this steel. So what's going to happen is electrons are going to move with the help of my electrolyte, which I used salt water for. So that electrolyte is going to help kind of spur this process on. But I've got electrons moving from my steel to my copper. And then that process is going to keep repeating over and over again and my electron flow is going to start here come all the way through until it gets pulled out and away from this copper wiring and what i did was i set up my multimeter again to see how many volts i could get from this process let's take a reading on a multimeter so i've got 0 0.23 volts running through my circuit right now uh, that number has been fluctuating. It's gone up to as much as 0 0.26. So that is the amount of volts I am getting with my homemade battery. This again is basically measuring the movement of electrons.